Have you ever felt like something was missing deep in the core of your soul? Have you ever wondered if your life was meant for something bigger? Consumed with stress and the worries of the world that seems so overwhelming. Questioning if God can even hear your prayers or if he's abandoned you in the stagnant pond of your life. What if I told you that you could follow the river and you could find a way to a world where your dreams still exist? So if you're tired of being trapped by your own fears, doubts, and self-destructive behaviors, you can join Will and Marie as they journey into the unknown, searching for new answers, new blessings, and new purpose in the deep waters. Yep, that term right. <laughs> You're not gonna be talking about me doing my oh. videos. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Aside from my video that, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> but that video set up something that was so perfect for where we are in trauma. Mm -hmm. We were talking about, it, it's called, are you subconsciously disappointing yourself? Subconsciously disrespecting yourself. Disrespecting yourself, yourself mm -hmm. excuse me. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that you're disrespecting yourself by what? By, I think what happens... Okay, first of all, I'm William Singleton. Hi. This is Marie Purnell, Walking in Your Woman and the Core. Cool. And we are still doing the series on trauma based truth. Yeah. You know? I just love the name of that trauma based truth. Yeah. So trauma is your truth, and it's based on your truth, but there's another truth. Yeah, there's a higher be, truth yeah. that you can be free yes. from your trauma, but, yes. but it requires. Next level courage and mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. I, I think we, I think even people who are struggling with, I think 90% of us are struggling with trauma, mm -hmm. unresolved trauma. Mm -hmm. And we have a basic faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a die and go to heaven. Um, <laughs> but, but the, the, the next level faith to me <laughs> is my purpose while I'm on this planet. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I mean, there's all kind of worldly cliches, be a better me or, 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 or you know, all those things you say you hear in the gym about, you know, the, the aesthetics of, you know, health and fitness. She, she, she will. She, <laughs> look, she called my trainer the other day and was I trying to make lunch. Up and did. She done oh messed up now. She done messed up now. Oh, but, um, but, but, you know, a lot of these things are based out of. Hi, Sue. <laughs> This is our based out of our own conditions that we've created. We've created a compromise with our trauma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we've been living in it, you know, consciously to subconsciously to where it just runs us remotely in all areas of our life. So well, you're going to have to expound on that. So, okay. So when I said, you know, uh, subconsciously disrespecting ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I mean, a lot of you guys know from watching my videos, um, I'm always working on my health and fitness. And, and, and part of the journey was really understanding the, the, the nutritional component of it, which is 90% of it. Mm -hmm. um, everybody thinks it's, it's the CrossFit and flipping tires. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> it, it's, it's what you put in your mouth. And... Many, my story is I had learned through my own trauma of rejection to soothe myself in a dysfunctional way mm -hmm. with everything that was fried, crispy, sugar filled, buttered um, to it, it was comfort food, but it was creating discomfort, you know, so I was disrespecting my temple right. with Krispy Kreme, you know, and I can make jokes about it. But it's so serious. I mean, if you guys have ever watched, you know, some of those shows that'll make me cry, like my 600 pound life, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and how they've created a world around food mm -hmm. 
to the point where they've, they've got um, partners that are bringing them food. Because when you're 600 pounds, you ain't, <laughs> you ain't going to pl too many places too no, easily. you're not. So you've yeah. got to get stuff mm -hmm. sent to you and brought to you. Mm -hmm. And you've created a world around it mm -hmm. to be dysfunctional, dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us have done that. And I know that's an extreme example, but we do that in our relationships. Yeah. You know, yeah. where we've created walls behind walls. Mm -hmm. And mm, that's good. Walls behind man, walls. I, I tell you, one of the things I know my old uh, boss, Bruce Lorenz, was had taught me about some of the basic dysfunction of the relationships we do this push pull thing mm -hmm. where i want you to come close to me while i'm pushing you away mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know and you talk about mixed signals i mean communication is already jacked up yeah but now i'm giving you all these mixed signals mm -hmm, on top of mm -hmm, that i want mm -hmm. you to love me right but no i don't but no i don't yeah but where are you going no come back here yeah no get away <laughs> <laughs> wow that's like oh that's scary truth that's scary mm -hmm. truth in my relationship, that's what it was, you know? And he, my husband was like, what well, What do you want? You know, <laughs> how many people are in there that I'm talking to today? Right. Is this Marie? Is it Riri? Is it, is it Sally Sue? I mean, who the dot com is it that I'm talking to mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. Because I had so many, oh man, so many personalities in there. Not civil, like, well, could have been some days, you never know. But there were so many personalities that I didn't know who to please. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> I didn't know who to please. Kevin didn't know who to please. God bless his soul. He didn't know who to please. Am I trying to please Marie? Am I trying to please Riri? I mean, what do you want? Do you, what do you want? How are we doing this today? And, and you know that develops because all of these, these techniques mm -hmm. are created to avoid pain, to escape pain. Mm. And, and, and this is the crazy part. In dealing with trauma, yeah. I have to go towards the trauma to heal it. Eesh. And so, Which is what we said in our last yeah. podcast. You're going to have to go to it. You're, you're going to have to go to it. Yeah. To heal it. It's like going to the doctor and you got a broken leg and yeah. you're saying the pain is over here in my elbow. And he's like, no, it's, it's right. Your leg is crooked. <laughs> right. No, don't touch that. I said my elbow. Oh, man. <laughs> you know? Not, no, don't touch that. Will, that's yeah. just, oh, that's so stupid good. I, that is so stupid good. <laughs> I know that's like an oxymoron or whatever, but listen. <laughs> I said, don't talk to me today. Well, then, well, why you wanted me to say good morning every morning? Right, what, what right, I'm saying, right. you know, and oh my gosh, that's so good. I mean, because you want to be healed. I'm telling you, you mm -hmm. want to be healed. You you want to be rid of all of these demonic activities. You want to be you loved. You want to be loved. Which you is the essence yeah. of Christianity. Oh my God, it, it's, a, it's a yeah. love language yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. based on forgiveness. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I remember oh. telling a couple this. What is the greatest component of a healthy relationship? And they all said it's love. And, mm. and some said it's trust. And, and then some said it's, it's loyalty. I said, no. I said, mm. the greatest component of a relationship is forgiveness. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. um, I, you know, because you, you're going to need that in spades, especially if you're with me. But. <laughs> so, okay, first, I don't play spades, but he's been talking about spades a lot. And my, my, one of my really good friends, Tamika, and her husband, Dale, they play spades like, you know, it's bad. You can't even, like, you don't even, don't even pretend like you can sit down at the table and play because they will make you get up. But, um, because they're for real spade players. That's actually how they met. And, um, but, you know, it's a serious game. Like, you got to know what you're thing. doing. But in the game of relationships, yeah. I have to be able to forgive. Yeah. Which is so. So deep. where does that come in with spades? So, so the saying is, I, you know, what did I say? Um, how did I say that? Which part? I mean that in spades or. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean that in spades, yeah, especially yeah, if you're that, that, That's just, that's just yeah. the saying. Yeah. And I meant that for real, for real, you yeah. know, that, you know, the biggest component of a relationship is forgiveness because in order for me to be authentic, in order for me to really be vulnerable with my trauma, mm -hmm. You know, one, I got to forgive myself. That's where I was going to go. But then, I, well, what happened? I just can't even get there. We yeah. can't even get to the forgiveness of ourselves. Then, let uh, alone let somebody else forgive us. Yeah. yeah. We're so hypersensitive and defensive mm -mm. because I don't want anybody to touch that broken leg that it never gets healed. <laughs> that was hey, such a good You point. think I'm walking with a pimp walk, but I'm really crippled. I mean, I'm broke down on the right, side. Right, right. You yeah. know, I'm no good. And that's, 
So let me go to that part when you were talking about forgiveness because that's a very super duper vital point part of a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you need to start. That's that's where I um, that's where I started with my walking in woman. I had to learn how to forgive myself because I hurt myself on a continual basis. Um, I, I constantly did not believe in myself. I constantly did not believe that I was surviving. I constantly didn't believe that anybody wanted to love me. I constantly did not, but I wanted you to love me, but I didn't want you to love me. Mm -hmm. Because how are you gonna love me? What are you gonna love me for? What is that about? I don't even know what that is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get it away from me. What is, get away from me. <laughs> but you want me to love you. So how are we gonna do that? If I don't, if I can't love you, but you want love, but I can't, okay, so what kind of love do you want? Okay, is it superficial? Is it, you know, wh what is it? So, you know, but once you start learning how to forgive yourself and don't be afraid to let it go. Because you've been so comfortable in that place. You feel like once you let it go, you're going to be vulnerable again. See, then that's another thing. You think you're going to be vulnerable again. Somebody's going to come in and hurt you. They're going to say something. But, you know, you start healing from the inside mm -hmm. out. <clears throat> It changes the trajectory of your life because you give grace. You learn mm -hmm. grace. It's, you, it's you, so different. It's almost like you want somebody to love you through the pain, mm -hmm. but you have to start that process. You really do. Because they yeah. have no clue. I don't care how good they are. I don't care how good they are. You, got, you, got, you have to literally yeah. show them the way mm -hmm. to love you mm -hmm. by loving yourself first. Mm -hmm. you That's know? good, Will, because I'm thinking about you also rebranding and changing your name to the core mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. core is forgiveness to me yeah absolutely I'm absolutely because man i could cry um mm, just thinking about the fact that i was able to forgive myself forgive my husband forget and and praying that he would forgive me and giving mm -hmm. myself the grace <clears throat> y'all gotta understand what grace is grace allows you to be broken in that moment it allows you to um you know just be vulnerable and then allow that agape love to mm -hmm. overtake you in such a way that you'd be like man this feels good mm -hmm. it's a good when, feeling when you look at the essence yeah. and the core mm -hmm. of the, the bible mm -hmm. it's it's a love story it is a it's, love it's story. a love story mm -hmm. and the great mm -hmm. the, the, the climax of the story is when God was trying to find a way to love and forgive his people. Mm -hmm. And so he sent his son mm. as a sacrifice mm. to symbolically take on the sins of the world mm -hmm. so he could connect with us mm. and forgive us. Mm. That's what I was just going to say. Right. Jesus on the cross even said, forgive them, Father. But they know not what they do. Listen. You know, I, I mean, in the <sighs> midst of all that pain, mm. all that rejection, mm, 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 and, and if you look at us, yeah, in all that pain, yeah, in all that rejection, yes. you know, if you put yourself on the cross, can you forgive yourself? Can you forgive yourself? Can you forgive That's those deep. that put you on the cross? <sighs> if you really think about it, Jesus got on that cross himself because he knew that was his goal. That's where he was supposed to be so that we could walk in this new place in life. Of, of fullness, of wholeness, of oneness with God, and then sending the comforter, Holy Spirit. Oh, God. There is no greater love story than to have something in that type of, and, and that I tell type you, of grace. And the challenge is in dealing with trauma, you know, um, in, in relationships, is not to fall into the trap of self-condemnation and not to fall into the trap of dogging yourself. And, and that will come Talking about while, <laughs> right, while we are here, still breathing in, in this flesh. Okay, mm -hmm. we we ain't never gonna be flawless. Okay, when I'm tired, when I'm when I'm hangry, when 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 I'm broke, when I when I'm feeling rejected, them voices will yeah. come back, and I uh, have I got to be ready for them. Yeah. I got to be ready. Yeah, you know, and prepare to send them right back to their closet. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because it's going to come and say, you know, Will, that's why you couldn't get the house built, mm -hmm. you know, because you didn't have this, this and this together. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Will, that's why, you know, God doesn't love you because, you know, you still tap dabbling over here, mm -hmm. you know, looking at, at what you what you what you and talking this, that and the other. No, and, watcha, watcha, watcha. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, you, you, you still messing up over here. Will. Mm -hmm. you know, you was thinking those crazy thoughts about your wife. You know, you think about that life insurance. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, joking. but but you know, we will condemn ourselves because we're drawn. It's like it's like we're drawn to feeling unworthy. You know, that's what self condemnation is, and I live yeah. that life. First of all, self condemnation was my road dog. Okay, yeah. I would go pick up self condemnation. After I picked up self condemnation, I would go in the go around the corner and pick up um, unworthiness. And then unworthiness, we'd be like, "Hey, we got to go pick up a little self esteem because they waiting on you." I mean, all of those people would ride. ride with me. Okay, ride, ride or die. Mm -hmm. And I was dying the whole time because I had no self worth, no. I mean, just constantly turn myself down, turn myself down, turn myself down. I mean, dark in spirit, dark in demeanor, dark in everything. But when I chose grace mm -hmm. and I chose agape, it changed my life. And, and that's what we want for you. We want you to be able to look at your trauma, deal with your trauma, face your trauma, and kick trauma's tail out the window. And, and, and I don't know anybody that can do it solo. Okay? No. All right. No. You, you need you need people to help you. Yes, with this. you do. Yes, you um, do. I mean, because you got to understand, you have been working against yourself for decades. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so don't think you, you can do this solo mm -hmm. and, and, and discover freedom all by yourself. It don't work like it, that. No, it don't. It, it don't. Doesn't. You know, I I need I, I still need people, mm -hmm. and I love my people. I, I can't imagine doing this life solo. Without all the people that 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 keep me tight and keep me together and keep me encouraged, because I don't know something else may happen next week and I and I'm gonna need a tune up. I'm gonna need somebody to hug me and slap yeah. me. You know, I mean, that I mean, will seriously. all be Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> that will all be barred. Don't lie, Marie. You know, you slap me too. I have not. I swear, I have not. <laughs> you know, I have not. You need to get yourself together. <laughs> I've probably done it in the spirit. Listen. Wait, wait, that's so funny. Wait, hold on. Oh, God. Where are we going? So, so I just said, so when I had gotten the disappointing information about the house, <laughs> And I, I, I talked about one of my other videos. I came home. First of all, we, he would did the same thing to me. So, but go ahead, go ahead. I came home broken, you know, concerned about telling my wife that, you know, the bad. And I'd already told her. So I was concerned. I was going to come home and, and she was going to be upset. Her face going to be all tore up, whatever. I get home and she's smiling at me. How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just How about like, that? I, I had the blink. You know, like, wait, <laughs> she, she is glowing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you know, you I don't know. What, you know, you've been drinking holy water. I mean, what, yeah. what's going on here? Right, right. And so my face wasn't matching her, her joy. Right. And she said, what's wrong with you? And, and I started to break down. You started to hear, I, my voice started to crack. I right. said, you better go to your room to get, get it together. No. I said, come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, we're not having it. We're not having it. I'm like, all right. Right. Okay. <laughs> it all took right, me a let's minute. It. it took me a minute. You know, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I will pout for a minute, but I, you know, I did get it together, but you know, that's what I mean. Sometimes we need, we need a slap and a hug <laughs> and maybe a slice of apple pie. Right. I don't know, but, right. but you know, whatever you need, you need people. Yeah. You need good people. It's the, it's, that's the truth. I mean. And and the and the key is good people, people yeah. that actually have your best proven interest. themselves, yeah. strong, right. safe. I don't mean it. Don't mean they're always right. Right. That's but you know true. their heart. You trust their heart. Yeah. And there are going to be times when they don't have a word to say, but thank God that they're there. Mm -hmm. Just having them there. Mm -hmm. Just saying that I just I'm just, I can't. Okay. Right. Go ahead and get through it. Yeah. What else? All right. Get it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got this. 
Because <laughs> I was doing something upstairs when he called me. And and then I was like, well, okay, well, do you want me to call you back? She was on a Zoom. And I said, you want me to, call, can I call you back? And he's like, yeah, well, I get, uh, oh, never mind. What's going on? <laughs> what are we doing? What's happening? I said, that can wait. I can go on the replay. What's going on? Because even, even if I don't have the answer, I'm there. Yeah, she listened. She listened. Yeah. I tried to pick it off too. Like, no, I'm all right. I'm good. Okay. I'm all right. It can wait till tomorrow. Uh, no, like, no, nah, never mind. That's nah, okay. Nah. What's happening? Right, right, Where are we going? Right. Because, and those are the type of people you leave in your, mm -hmm. need in your life because they're not afraid to go there with you. Like I said a couple podcasts back, even if you're in your trauma with your spouse. Right. I just want them to be not afraid to go there with you. Right. Now, if they can't, if they're too fragile, look, yo, go find somebody Right, else. right, right, right. Don't Please, just, don't just quit. Don't keep messing with them because they're already fragile and they got their own trauma that, and what you're doing could possibly be triggering their trauma. Right, right. The word trigger, I'm going to have to try to get rid of it. But right. I'm just saying this no, is what's is happening. Good. This is what's happening mm -hmm. because... You know, it takes you to another uh, uh, place where you really don't want to be, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, you're going to end up there because they're there. So mm -hmm. we both here. What are we going to do? What's happening right. now? What's, I mean, I'm sorry. Right. That's to see. That's that review. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. That, yeah. That, that yo girl, she is a trip. So we but remember, we went over the but, signs yeah. of trauma, and one is yes. impatience. Yes, impatience. You know, and, 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 yeah. And so we, we really need to take a look at that, you know. But I think. That may wrap up the whole, as much as we can, about relationships yeah, and trauma. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and I think it's a nice segue yeah. for us to talk about trauma in the church because yeah. it is dealing with people yeah. with trauma that are in church. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. It's not that the church is some separate entity. It's the same folks. It's us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and we haven't healed from our trauma. <laughs> and we up here in church. And, and, and then we got these expectations. And that's how we end up, you know, re-traumatizing people because we all jacked up. But we're going to talk about that next time. But we healed because we over here shouting and going. Right, 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 right. right. You know. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go there. See, see, see. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to end on a good note. Sorry. <laughs> but, Sorry. yeah, I want to talk about that next time. You okay. know, just church trauma and... Um, I thought we talked about church trauma. Didn't we, that what we, we started? We talked about that in the beginning. But I want to go into... The trauma-based truths always so deep yo. in the church right. that are based on the people. That are based on the people. Okay. You know. All right. Okay. Whatever okay. you say. Right. He's the boss. Listen, y'all don't y'all fool for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we love you. We thank you. We want you to um, like always and subscribe. Feel welcome here. Like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, and please comment. Please, please. comment. Um, we oh, love. Oh, he 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 commented back. I respond I now. Like, I figured out what I was responding. doing. I'm responding to yes. your comments. Awesome. Um, and we're having a good time. If you yeah. have any suggestions or thoughts or, or please, 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 anything, you know, we we'll take it all. Yeah. We appreciate it. We're gonna we're gonna be on trauma probably for the next three <clears throat> sessions. We're gonna try and kind of. Bring it down, but that's really where our core is because yeah. this is how we got to deep waters. Mm -hmm. um, dealing with people that just were, have been so hurt, so traumatized, and so having questions, as you can hear when Will talks in, in the very beginning of our module, he talks about are those questions that are out there that you're even afraid to ask? Yeah. Are there are questions out there that you're just like, mm -hmm. what, what's in the, I mean, you know, what's happening with me, and, and, and how come I can't find anybody to talk to? That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here, guys. So I'm going to pray us out. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Father, we thank you. I want to say this one thing, Lord. We trust you. We trust you as you go before us. We trust you with our family life. We trust you with our situations. We trust you in our trauma. We trust you, Father God, in our relationships. We trust you, Lord. We are so grateful for this opportunity to come before you, to come before your sons and daughters, God. You have given us your breath to breathe into them and to speak nothing but life and truth. And if there is something that we must deal with, God, allow us to deal with it with grace, the spirit of compassion, and your agape love. So, Father, we thank you. I love my brother Will. Thank you for this whole day. Thank you for everything that we have already accomplished for your glory and for your namesake. 
It's in Jesus' much just name we pray all these things. Amen. 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 Love Amen. you guys. That was good. So what did you think about that one? That was good. Okay. That was good. Okay. That was good. All is, of them are good. Is is there anything you think we missed? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about what did we miss. I thought we talked about what we were going to talk about. Yeah. Uh, uh, the disrespecting ourselves subconsciously. Yeah. I mean, we hit all. We hit. Yeah, I we, think we hit we, just we, about we everything. Just about everything. You know. Um, so if we're going to go to trauma again. Um, you said you wanted to talk a little bit more about the church. I, yeah, I want. I really want to address. I think it's time to go to race. <laughs> I, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, because it's so sensitive in the atmosphere right now. I know. It's all right. But it's it's where we, I think that we can kind of be even keel about it. Okay. Hey, hey I can go to trauma the race. You know, you know, I'm ready. I mean, what I just thought we, you might want to discuss trauma in the church as far as how. I mean, we'll go there. Yeah. Okay. We'll go there okay. first. Okay. But, but you race know, has got to come. Oh, it's definitely, yeah. definitely got to come. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely got to come. Um, but it was good. It I mean, good. and not just because we are black people, but because everybody does not understand that race is now become the big picture. Yeah. Everywhere. I don't care what mm -hmm. color you're... I mean, I don't care what nationality, ethnicity, whatever word you want to use. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. It is... It's, 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 it's and, in the and, and And part of the problem with that is... we Not only do we not understand race, but we don't understand culture. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't even understand our mm -hmm. own culture. Right. Mm -hmm. And how our culture is different from that in actual Africa. Right, right. You know, right. and our culture is different according to what part of the nation you live in. That you live in. Right. So, yeah. it's, 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 it's... I'm going to have to let him expound on that because I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not geographically, um, <laughs> educationally wise, uh, within, whatever word you want to use. <laughs> <laughs> It's up there and it's, over it's here. It's over there, and then look at that square circle on the map. But it just got those shapes in it, and I'm like, listen, it is what it is. But, but yeah, it, it was it was really good. I and, so. um, I thought so. I thought I'm, so. I'm hoping to get some good feedback on it. Me so. too. Um, from your blossoms. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, from everyone, you know, your core. <laughs> that Sue, man, I'm waiting on her. She's gonna have a lot to say. I'm waiting on, you know, I just think that everybody is going to have something to say about it because everybody deals with trauma in some shape or form. Yes, we do. And if there's anything that we need to tap into, like if you want to say, hey, this is what I need to talk about today, drop it in the, you know, drop it in the chat so mm -hmm. we can get into that too. Yeah, and maybe one day we can do a live stream after we get, uh, yeah, I know, you look, you just froze up on me. <laughs> No, because I just said I gotta do a live stream with my blossoms, and I was like, "What day? We we'll do a know. live stream? I don't know what I'm doing already with your blossoms." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god!" She could call them blossoms then. <laughs> Listen, okay. I mean, seriously, it is time for us to go live. I think we should be live by November. Okay, that's at fine. Least. I mean, I, I want to do some more shows mm -hmm. before we go live it's cool yeah. it's so cool. november would be good for me uh, next month i'm going to be doing videos with ladies and the lord has already given me three so cool. i'm going to probably need your help on that because i don't know i know we're still recording sorry but yeah okay. i just need help with that all right well thanks guys so, thanks <laughs>